Welcome everyone to another episode on our channel. This is World War II characters, the Allied Powers. You've seen these figures before, but as time has gone on, we've realized we'd done some mistakes in the filming process and we were not able to show you the details to these accessories that these figures have on them. And that is taking away a lot from the beauty of these characters. So we decided to redo a few videos, especially when they're complex and they have tons of accessories. And this set does have tons of accessories. So we have three Americans in this lot. We have a paratrooper. We have Brad Pitt, who played a tanker in Fury. And we have a first lieutenant. We have a soldier from the Soviet Union and we have a British soldier. So with that, we'll pause and we'll talk about these characters individually. Here's our first soldier, an American paratrooper from our World War II series with the Allied Powers. He is customized from head to foot. He has an older dragon head sculpt some of the accessories are older as well, but it looks great. This figure looks absolutely great. He has magazine pouches. He has a Thompson. Behind his Thompson is a binoculars case with binoculars in it. You'll get a tighter close up in a bit, but uh, trust me, that's a binocular case. Uh, here is a gas mask holder, and attached to his leg is a K-bar with its sheath. And we'll turn it slowly so you can see other things he has on him. You can see the patch on his shoulder. Coming into view here is his canteen. Next to his canteen is a shovel and a trenching tool. And then of course we have the rucksack. We have another pouch here. And as we turn more, he has his handgun and holster. You can see the American flag on his shoulder. And there you go. This is the American paratrooper. We're going to do a tighter close up on him. So we'll pause right now. Okay, this is a lot better because you can see more details like the chin strap to his helmet. Of course, the pouches, the magazine pouches, the Thompson. And I'll move the gun a little bit so you can kind of see the the binoculars case right there it's a better look at it all right and again we'll turn him so you can kind of see more things the gas mask is down there but there's not much to see with the gas mask there's the shoulder patch and like i said coming into view is the canteen you can see more details with the canteen. You can see the uh, entrenching tool here. You can see the, the rucksack. And if I can bring it up, there's another pouch hanging. Not quite sure what that is, but here it is. You can see the holster with a handgun. The flag is showing up very sharply now. And there you go. There's our American paratrooper. We'll pause for a second and take a close up of his face. Here's a close up of his face and even though I said earlier I would probably not trade this head out for another head, 
I'm thinking he is probably ready for a head change, something, some head sculpt with a lot more details to it. So anyway, here is the close-up of the paratrooper, and we'll go on to our next figure in just a second. Here is our British soldier. I'm sure I purchased him as a complete set, but as I'm prone to doing, I did replace the head sculpt with a newer head sculpt for more facial details. His beret is awesome. His, his uniform is awesome. The gaiters are great. Just, just brilliant in terms of a entire set. He has his Sten submachine gun here. He has a pouch to the side. In the back, you can see a rucksack, but we'll turn him slowly so you can start to see more details. Here you can start to see a canteen. I probably need to adjust that and get that higher up the body. There's the rucksack. Lots of details on that. Underneath the rucksack is actually a uh, pick combo shovel or whatever you want to call it, entrenching tool. So it has two ends to it. You'll see details on it when we do a close up. Okay. And then he has a, a Thompson submachine gun there. And of course his rank on his sleeve. All right. And I think I missed a um, sheath and a knife, but we'll get it in the uh, close-up. It's a little hidden from view. You have to really look for it. But anyway, here's our Brit. We'll take a pause and get a, a tighter close-up on him. Here's a tighter close-up of our Brit. And you can see the pouch much more clearly, the, the Sten submachine gun. It does have a spring to it, and you can actually literally pull this back, this, this bolt back. I'm not going to do it. He'll probably drop his gun if I do it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, on the back is his rucksack. So let me turn it around. Ah, there it is. Can you see it? It is right here. The, the knife and the sheath is right here. Down below, and I'll have to lift it up a bit, is his, get a good angle here, is his canteen. Let's put it in the back. There's his rucksack coming into view. And I think you can start to see it now. So here's the entrenching tool. Let me go down here. See if I can turn this a little bit so you can see. There's a pick in and you probably can't see it unless I put my hand behind it. There we go. But there's the shovel end. I thought that was a really cool piece to this figure. And then his rank, of course, is showing. There's another pouch underneath the, the Thompson right here. All right. But that uniform is brilliant. And it's made of substantial material, actually. Has the feel of wool to it. I don't think it's wool, but has the feel. So here is our Brit. And we'll pause for a second so we can show you a close-up of his face. Here is a close-up of his face. And 
Thus, the reason for changing head sculpts at times, you get finer details in more recent head sculpts. Here's our second American in our World War II series of Allied Powers. This is Brad Pitt, who played a tanker in the movie Fury. He's customized from head to toe. I was able to find pieces that would mimic the look that he had in the movie. I know this is not germane or part of the movie, but this is a grand, and I just wanted to show it off here. It's so nicely done. It's actually made of wood, I believe. And it has a bayonet affixed to it. It comes with its sheath. I'll put that out of the way since it really isn't part of the movie. This is cool though. Helmet with webbing on it, with the ace of spades, as you can see on there. I just thought that was cool too. Now this is, um, this is the canteen. United States canteen and a U.S. pouch. I'm going to put that off to the side and we'll just focus on Brad Pitt now. So he he has his jacket, he has a uh, revolver and a shoulder rig holster. There's not much to him other than that, other than the, the gloves in his pocket. We will pause right now so we can get more details and you can see these accessories up close, the few accessories that are used on Brad Pitt. So we will pause now for a second. Okay, we have a tighter close-up of Brad Pitt here and you can see his, his holster rig, his, his revolver is coming into view. But what is so totally cool about this figure, unlike a lot of figures are the gloves that this guy has. And you can actually put them on his hands. I don't know if I can get it back into the, uh, into the pocket very nicely. I might be able to do it. Uh, almost falling out. We'll get it in there. There we go. But I think that is just a nice extra detail to this figure. So anyway, this is a close-up and we'll do a better close-up of the head. Here's a close-up of Brad Pitt. The facial features aren't the best in the world, but I think you get the idea that that is definitely Brad Pitt. Here's our soldier from the Soviet Union. I did customize him from head to toe. I was able to find a head sculpt that I liked and he bears an uncanny resemblance to the Russian character in Enemy at the Gates. This is the actor Joseph Fiennes, or it looks like the actor Joseph Fiennes, even to the detail of the glasses. Since he's customized, I don't have a lot of accessories with him. I do have his cap down here. He does come now with a, a Mosin sniper rifle with a scope attached to it. And other than the, the poncho, that's pretty much it. So we'll do kind of an end around so you can see things from different angles. And then we'll do a tighter close up and then get an even tighter close-up with his face. This poncho is very long. It has an opening here. I'm sure it's for an arm to go through, keep you as dry as possible when you are out shooting. <laughs> All right, so let me turn them around to get that front view one more time. And so here is our Soviet Union soldier. Here's a tighter close-up of the Soviet Union soldier. And really, again, there's not much in terms of accessories, but you can get a better view of the, uh, 
of the Mosin sniper rifle here with the scope itself. So we'll pause now and get a even tighter close-up of his face. Here's a close-up of our Soviet Union officer. Again, he has an uncanny similarity to Joseph Fiennes in the movie Enemy at the Gates. This is the last American in our World War II Allied Power set. This is a first lieutenant, uh, Army first lieutenant. It's an older dragon in Dreams character. I purchased it as a complete set. And I know I'm a broken record, but this face sculpt or head sculpt, I changed out for a newer head sculpt with finer facial details. But I love the accessories. I love the uniform from the gaiters to the jacket to the pants. The helmet is great. It has its, uh, the guy has his rank on there. Um, there's rank and insignia on the collar. It, it comes with a, a, a flashlight here. On this side, there's a set of binoculars. He has a, a magazine pouch, another pouch over here. And you can start to see an M1 carbine right here on the side. So let's, uh, let's turn him and you can kind of see more details as we go along. Love those gators. Coming into view is the binocular case. So he has the binoculars in the front and the case in the back in this situation. And then we also have the canteen coming into view. That's pretty much it on the back. He's not loaded with a ton of accessories, but what he has is exceptionally nice. So there it is, M1 carbine. And then we get back to the front view. There you go. This is our first lieutenant army and uh, the last figure in our World War II Allied Powers set. Here is a tighter shot of this figure. You can see the binoculars more clearly, the flashlight, the insignia. I mean, again, wonderfully detailed. I forgot to mention on, on this side, he has a holster and uh, a handgun. So I think I'll just just turn them around so you can see everything a little bit more closely. There's some insignia, a patch on the shoulder. There's a binocular case. And there's the canteen. And these things, actually, you can open them up and take the canteen out. So many details. Oh, and there is the gun. You can see the butt of the handgun, the holster. Very sharp looking here. And of course, back to the binoculars. Again, he doesn't have a ton of accessories, but in terms of the accessories he does have, they're actually, well, very well done. So we'll pause now and we'll go to a even tighter close-up of his face. Here is a wonderful close-up of this first lieutenant's face. Here is a final look at our figures from World War II Allied Powers. If you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up and hopefully you can subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you everyone and take care.